G'day, I'm Brendan from Australian Caravan and RV. Today we're having a look at the Jayco Adventurer. Their first dedicated off-road caravan. Now the Jayco off-road product has always been popular but mild. But that's all just changed with the Jayco Adventurer. Now the company has a dedicated off-road caravan something that you can take much further and frankly something that's got a, a lot of thought behind how people use an off-road product. Camped in the Adventurer for three nights now. This is my last night before I take it back tomorrow. But what's really impressed me is how well thought out the packet the whole package is um, it's little things like the two spare wheels on the back they come with uh, spare wheel rubbish bags the external shower comes with a pop-up shower tent there's even a set of max tracks as a standard feature you can see it's pretty nice in here it's not really rugged or off-roady it's actually quite fancy and glampy one of my favourite things about this Jayco is the J-Hub control panel. It's a tablet device and you can turn things on and turn things off. You can check your levels and see the time and everything like that. It's a really modern, um, fancy solution to electronics. It's not really camping if you're not cooking outside, which is why an outdoor kitchen is such a great addition to the Jayco Adventurer. Have a look at this. Not too bad, considering my wife isn't here. A compressor fridge as well is really cool. Uh, it means it runs more efficiently all the time. You don't get sort of that same longevity out of it as a gas fridge, but considering there's 300 watts of solar on the roof, um, it's going to be running without a hassle almost all of the time. What else do I like about this fan? The cupboards, the drawers, is solid as. You can't take it out. There's actually a key somewhere to do it. Soft closing, positive locking. The Jayco Adventure isn't just a Jayco Outback on steroids. It's actually its own model and it's got some really great off-roading features. Uh, the JTEC independent coil spring suspension has been upgraded to cope with the task. Uh, significant in that is the twin shock absorber instead of single shock absorber. Uh, it's got a stronger chassis uh, it comes with a grey water tank so you can be self-sufficient and leave no trace. There's also a uh, vehicle components DO35 hitch up front uh, so it's got really good articulation in the hitch uh, which means that it's not going to pop off the ball at any point. There's also a lot of protection from off-road hazards. There's scrub bars and uh, protection for the rear departure angle. The rear's been cut away so that that departure angle is improved. The three tanks, two water and a grey water tank, are protected. And even the plumbing underneath has been upgraded. There's no PVC or anything to shatter. It's all rubber or um, flexible hose so that things bounce off it rather than break it. That's not to say this caravan is perfect. There's a few issues with it. Uh, this one that I've got has got some delamination of the vinyl on the front going up to the roof. Uh, same on the back as well, coming back down to the back wall. Uh, they've actually done a really good job of outback proofing this caravan, if I can use the word outback in a JCO review. I think I can. <laughs>